When most people think of classical music, something like this is usually what comes to mind. And when people think UA men's basketball, it's probably something more like this. But the two have a lot more in common thanks to one UA student. What if you do like a B? I started playing at the age of eight years old, and I studied with this piano player named Cecilia Brower. She's the Metropolitan Opera pianist at the Met, and she's 83 years old, and uh, God bless her, she's, she's been like inspiration to my whole life. Um, without her, I mean, I wouldn't be half the pianist that I am today. My grandfather played with Louis Armstrong in the World War II band. Um, my father played with Paul Simon, my grandfather pushed my dad, my dad pushed me, and like now I'm a classical level pianist at a university, you know, playing Beethoven's Second Piano Concerto, Rachmaninoff, uh, Gershwin's Rhapsody in Blue. And while being classically trained, Kostin Bader is also the hip hop director for Campus Radio, and this caught the attention of ASUA and President Tommy Bruce. Well, yesterday they approached me for like a song to make a Zona Zoo anthem, you know, like something to represent our, our school, our spirit of our team. So for months, when I was a sophomore, I gave them like a couple instrumentals, you know, 10, 15 instrumentals through the course of three or four months. Nah, they weren't buying any of them. It wasn't finally until I gave them, I took Vivaldi's winter theme from the Four Seasons and I slowed it down in a program called Recycle. I added from there a hip hop, like a drum track, a bass track to it, and a little bit of a string track to it. I slowed down the tempo and I pitch shifted it up from like a half step, from like an F to an F sharp, you know what I'm saying? Just to change the pitch a little bit to where mainstream America still would recognize the song. Since the finished version is being used at every home game, Costin Bader wanted to make sure that it didn't lose its classical roots. Today everything is written in a 4-4 four, four, like a hip hop and like one, two, three, four. I mean, you know what I'm saying? Like in pieces, the Debussy, um, Claire de Lune's Debussy is written in a 9-8 rhythm. So every measure is getting one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. So I mean you can never really write a piece like 9-8 in today's type of um, pop or hip hop or rock, whatever you want, jazz. I mean, because no one really would understand even that today. And so that's what I'm all about doing is you know, rhythmically changing up the style, the way, the way people listen to music, the way I feel things, you know, I want people to, to feel the same way, really.